I think that if more women just took ownership of their body and they understood that it was okay at a young age, then um, you know, then we would just be more powerful and confident women as we grow up. If there's one thing I could give and offer to these girls today, it's that you are enough as you come into this world and that it is a good thing to be a woman that seeks a higher place, to want more from yourself, to be ambitious, to set a bar for yourself and meet it and then raise it again, that it is an okay thing. I feel I'm really lucky because I was born at a time where social media wasn't the, all the hype. And I actually went out there to, with, whether it was with my nonprofit or uh, back in school, where we had to actually interact one on one without having a computer in front of us. And I think that's a, my, my, my message to girls and boys you know, connect on a much deeper level. Don't just connect through social media, it is there, but it's also fleeting. So, yeah, go deeper. The most monumental thing that we can do in this room is support one another. And with this support, we can create a network so strong that no one, no textbook, no class, no policy, no man, no politician can have the audacity to ignore us. Oh, I was about to say, because she's got to be 35 years old. The Constitution yeah. has stipulated her age. We did the math. I don't feel the competition from her right now because she's <laughs> got some years to go. So, future, future president? Uh, I describe what I... <laughs> I describe what I want to do in the future as policy adjacent, but I don't know exactly what that is. Um, but I do have to say that I'll be a voting age 2018, which means I can vote for you in 2020. Oh and I was wondering how many people will be a voting age by 2020 so we can vote for him. <laughs> hey ladies, <laughs> you looking good today. As my favorite writer and president once said, Nelson Mandela, he said, education is the most powerful tool on which you can use to change the world.